Coming up next, high-rise hazard, why some towers are more prone than others to become infernos, and what may be the simplest way to fix a dangerous problem. Tonight, a battle heats up in New Jersey over sprinklers. A push is underway to revamp the fire codes for high-rise buildings, but not everyone supports the idea. So that room went from 70 to over 500 in two minutes. This dramatic demonstration shows how quickly a fire can get out of control in a room without fire sprinklers. What's our temperature now? Over 2,000 degrees. For the last 20 years, New Jersey has required high-rise buildings with six floors or more to have fire sprinklers. But tragedies like the deadly 2006 Guttenberg and 1998 North Bergen fires occurred in older buildings without them. Now, New Jersey fire officials want to amend the fire code to require some 400 buildings across the Garden State to get new sprinklers installed. 80% of our fatalities happen in the home, usually at night when you're asleep. Our member owners are certainly concerned and about the uh, safety of our residents, but the, the, these regulations will cost over a billion dollars. Nick Kikis is with the New Jersey Apartment Association, a group opposed to this proposal. He says that older high-rises already had many fire upgrades and adds that sprinklers would be an unfair burden on property owners. Ultimately, it would be the renters you know, who would be uh, forced to pay for this through rental increases. If this amendment is approved, building owners will have four years to upgrade their properties. Over the next 60 days, the public can comment on the proposed sprinkler fire code amendment by writing to the New Jersey Department of Community Affairs.